Good morning, woodworkers. Been a while since I've been on here, so I decided I better put something together. Just in case you were wondering what was going on with me, and recently I've been pretty busy. Anyway, today I'd like to do something real interesting and really simple. I want to make a Christmas tree, and what we're going to do is uh, make it in two segments, and these will then go together like like that. And uh, what I've done so far is to set up my uh, my 3 8 inch router, uh, straight bit, in my router on my router table, and then I've measured my 3 8 router bit, and it turns out to be exactly 3 8 So I took my calipers, and then I went to the sander, and I sanded these to as closely as I could get to the 375. Um, so by doing that, then these will be the same thickness as the width that I want the slot to be cut. Now we're over at the router table, and what I've done here is set up my stop block so that my piece of wood is only going to go halfway through, uh, halfway from end to end, I should say. And it's probably best to do it in a couple of passes, so I'm going to let this router down to where we're about halfway through the piece of wood. Now, I'll let it come to a complete stop before I take it off. And, even with an undercut on my uh, stop block, I'm still having a little bit of trouble with, um, with the shavings coming off and plugging things up. But we'll live with that. Now I'm going to lift this up to full height, not changing anything else except just the height of the router bit, and we'll run it through again. As you can see that this nice snugly fits over there. That's going to make a nice, nice fit for our Christmas trees. Okay, I'm going to run the second half. We'll do that off camera. Now we're back over at what I call my assembly bench, and I'll show you how these go together. You see, I've cut halfway through, or just a little over halfway, from end to end. Now what I'll do they slide them together like this and we have a nice fit very tight nothing is moving at all so it all worked out quite well now we get back to our Christmas tree and I'm going to take this apart I'm going to take the two halves apart and then we'll lay them uh, down on each other in such a way that it goes together like this when we get ready to cut out our uh, the outside of our Christmas tree. My wife Darlene showed me a little trick. When you get ready to trace your pattern onto a piece of wood, uh, 
Just take some masking tape and tape one side of it. That way when you get ready to to uh, put your tracing paper under here, you can just pick it up and slide it under there, lay it back down, and keep this nice and firmly in place. Do your tracing, and then after you've done that, then you can look at it once in a while and make sure that you've got everything traced properly. If you try to tape it all the way around, of course, you can't get your paper in and out for your carbon paper. But uh, now the thing that I have done already is to tape the two pieces together. And now I'm going to peel off this pattern. And it was a little bit of a trick to get it centered on the, on the center hole, but I think it'll be close enough that we won't have to worry about it. Okay, the next thing to do is to cut it out on either the band saw or the scroll saw. Either one will work. I think I'll do it on the, on the scroll saw. But it, like I say, either one will be fine. So that's going to be it for this week. Give this a try. This is a fun little project. And, you know, easily goes together. Not a big problem. When you get done, you have something that you can give to the grandkids or great grandkids, and they can take uh, colored pencils or something. They can even put some. Uh, little ornaments out here on it if they want to and maybe even put a star up here on the top whatever they want to do is fine with me remember that this is the season when we celebrate christ's birthday and this is really important to especially christians okay that's going to be it for for wayne this week